In this video, we're going to show you one of the best money plays in Madden 23. It's a great play against Mayan Zone and can have the potential to bomb coverages as well. Now, the play we're going to be taking a look at here is uh, really any play. We're going to use PA Counter Go for this, um, but you do need uh, basically wide receiver apprentice on the outside or outside apprentice and tight end apprentice to make this the best you can. You can also do it with just outside apprentice. Uh, but anyway, we're going to use PA Counter Go. And um, if you want to get my full trips tight end offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. Uh, I'm going to put a link to the Patreon in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So this is a really, really good play, specifically for a zone coverage and bombing zone. Um, it does have some good reads against man, which we'll get to in a minute. But I want to show you um, the route combos specifically for zone. And again, if you want to get the full ebook, the link is in the description down below. Patreon.com uh, slash Cody Ballard is where you can get access to it. Just join the Patreon for just 10 bucks. Um, okay, so we're going to post the outside receiver. We're going to streak the middle trips receiver. We're going to slant the uh, inside trips receiver. And we're going to post or crosser the tight end. So you see here, this is what the play looks, uh, what the play looks like. So what you'll see here is your first read is obviously this drag. But if it is zone coverage, um, this is a absolute nuke out of trips tight end. As you see right there, we're able to bomb uh, cover two over the top for a one play score. Now I'll show you uh, two other coverages and then we'll get into some man stuff. So the first coverage we'll take a look at here is cover three. Uh, as you see here, same exact setup. And what you can see here, if I have enough time, is I can freeform this once he passes the, once he crosses the face of the safety. So I'll show it to you again. That's how we weren't able to catch it. Um, but this is the best bomb that I've found. Um, out of trips see right there once he's even he's leaving we want to put it right in there obviously the other thing you can do this year because of how good um, because of how good high balls are I'm pretty sure you can actually uh, highball this too which will make it pretty much always perfect accuracy see right there so you can do something like that if you want but as you see there we're able to bomb we're able to bomb um, cover three and then here's cover four. Uh, this year, this actually is a lot better than it was last year against cover four. And I think it's mainly because of free form, as you can see. We're able to get over the top of cover four. So we're able to bomb cover three, cover four, cover two, all from the same route combo. Now, um, the reason this is so good, it, especially against zone, is because if they're playing zone, especially if they're playing double Mabel or something like that, you're going to have some time in the pocket. You have play action blocking, which is the best way to block. And then you also have, um, you know, like, again, if they're in zone, chances are they're going to be dropping a lot of coverage. Okay. Now, what about man? Um, what about man to man? I'm going to show you man to man. So if they're in man, the post sometimes will, or the post should honestly be open. Um, you'll see right there when you pair a post with a streak this year it really does help it a lot as you can see so you see there we're able to bomb pretty much every coverage in the game it doesn't matter regardless of shell regardless of I mean this play right here is really good if you have time it's gonna be open now you have quick reads if it's not if you don't have time like your slant your post those are all quick reads but the main route you're looking for is the skinny post okay uh, the, the the post is better in some ways, not every way, but in some ways, this post is actually better than it was last year. Um, and it's primarily because it's going to get a little deeper and it's going to run for a little longer than it did last year. So as you see right there, right in that little gap, again, my free-forming skills, if, if you have, uh, if you have um, McNair or Elway, this is fairly simple to hit. Uh, I hit this pretty much routinely. You know, and again, you, you just need time. And if you don't have time, then you want to work your, your quick game underneath. So, like, let's say they blitz you. So, let's say, um, you know, let's say they blitz you. And get something like this. Again, this, this form of blocking is really effective typically against the blitz. So, what you can do is you can just hit your quick reads, your post, or your, or your slam. So, you have the ability to hit stuff quick. But the main thing is with this, you have the ability to just absolutely bomb literally every coverage 
um, in the game. So, you know, again, all you need is time for this to get open. You need time for this post route to work. If you want to smart route the post, you can. Um, it'll make it run a little shorter, uh, which can be good or bad. See right in that little window, and you see we're in a really nice little spot. And with how good aggressive catching is in the, you know, how good aggressive catching is in this game, I would definitely not be afraid to highball this against specifically zone. So right there, highball up and up. It's going to lead him up. You're going to get that animation right there. And you see how good that is. So uh, that's the best bomb, in my opinion, in the game. It's one of the many reasons why Trips tied in is so powerful. Um, this bomb is really good against zone. And it can be good against man if they're not blitzing you. So if they're dropping it eight into coverage to try to stop to try to stop your aggressive catch game, this becomes a great play because now, you know, if you need to hit a quick read, you can, uh, but you also have, you know, that right there, which you're going to have to force. You're going to force them to have to, you know, at least have a safety help in the middle of the field. And really the main thing that they're really needing is they just need the pressure to get home. If their pressure doesn't get home on this and you can wait on it, you can throw this over here. Now, again, Evans kind of stopped running, but you can throw that over there, which gets it away from the safety. So, and then obviously, um, you know, no one should ever run cover two on trips tied in because of this play right here. This is going to kill cover two. So you hear just high ball where you want him to go. Get that nice catch and boom. Love this play a lot, especially now because a lot of people, um, you know, because of the edge protectors and stuff like that, people are backing off of the blitz and backing off of edge threat in general. So use this play. You have play action as well, which will help a lot with edge threat. So you don't even necessarily need edge protectors. You just need time. And if you don't have time, hit the quick reads on this play, and I think you'll really enjoy this play. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure that you join the link in the description, the Patreon. Um, it's only $10 to sign up for that, and it gets you access to all of our ebooks and all of our updates to those ebooks as well. So if you want to become a Patreon member today, make sure you head down to the description below and click the link down in the description.